Writing shaders is harder than it has to be. Both computer and rendering, it's, it's basically a separate program that's linked into your app. It's loosely connected and you're sending untyped data back and forth. This sounds familiar, right? Since the dawn of time, web and native apps have been loosely connected with, for example, a REST API and split across code bases. And this bridge between them had to be manually maintained. Now, technologies like TRPC, React Server Components, SvelteKit, bridge the gap between the server and client, basically blur the line. So what if we applied the same pattern to the GPU and CPU? We could essentially eliminate a whole class of bugs, like byte misalignment and reduce bookkeeping of numeric indices. The logic of our whole app could finally be combined. Now, we could take this pattern to the extreme and, and transpile JavaScript to the GPU, but we're not that crazy. Introducing TypeGPU, a set of type-safe primitives that bridge the gap between TypeScript and WebGPU. Our data schemas mirror Wigzel syntax, and you can use them to create typed buffers on the JS side and generate matching shader code. You can just pass JS objects and arrays to the GPU without having to worry about how they're represented in binary. And don't worry about having to rewrite your whole app. We design our APIs with progressive adoption in mind, meaning you can pick and choose the parts of your code base that you'd like to type GPUify. To test this out, we picked out a few open source projects and integrated TypeGPU into them without changing the overall code structure. We also started a few projects from scratch, like the Wafer game engine. Check out the WebGPU interoperability guide on typegpu.com for more details. Oh, and those JS functions running on the GPU, that's actually happening. We have a few demos working already on typegpu.com hidden under an experimental switch. Check them out, give us feedback, and help us reach stability. <laughs> Try it out today.